What you're about to experience are my opinions and truths. I'm suggesting their possibilities for you to consider, in which you can then come up with your own logical conclusions. Welcome out, everyone, all of you great decoders around the world, wherever you may be. My name is Logan, and this, of course, is Decode Your Reality. And today we're going to be breaking down and decoding skull and bones. That's right. Skull and bones decoded the notorious 322 on their logo, their insignia. What does that mean? What is this organization all about? I'm going to give you the esoteric, the numbers, the source code playing out with this organization. And I'm going to show you my research. And then you do whatever it is that you want to do with it. Kind of make the truth your own. These are my opinions and truths from my research. But ladies and gentlemen, strap on a pair of headphones. Get settled in, get strapped in. This one, once again, is going to blow you away. So here we go. Let's let's start by just asking a simple question using the oldest numerology cipher on the planet, Chaldean. Works off of phonetics, not just the numbers and the letters. What is 322? What is 322 equals the number 75? And what we want to do is we want to take this number now and get an extension off of that because where do we go from here? Well, we can easily click, connect other words to that, but that those are dead ends. I want to get more layers, more things that are not just numerology, and one of them is alchemy. So the 75th element in alchemy is called rhenium. Notice the abbreviation for rhenium. It's the R-E, as in repeat, redo, recycle, reintroduce, reestablish. The re, repeat. History repeats itself. History repeats itself equals the number 75. <laughs> but it's this element rhenium which has the highest melting point out of any of the elements on the periodic table. It's the number one element with the highest melting point. And as you can see here, the graphics I have to your right, I have the star, mighty star Sirius. Is Skull and Bones tied to the mighty star Sirius? You bet your bottom dollar. And then over to the left, we have Kronos, Father Time. Is it connected? Yes, it is. And I'm going to support that as we go through this presentation. So what is the 322? 75 tied to rhenium. So where does this rhenium go to? Well, notice rhenium's weight here, atomic mass, one of them is 186. And that's a dead giveaway if you know your science. Whether or not it's true or not, it's in the books. It's in the script. The 186 is tied to the speed of light. And then Lucifer is going to be in there. You better believe it's going to be all over this decode, Lucifer. Lucifer is known as the light bringer, the speed of light, light bringer. It's a dead giveaway. But it was really this movie right here that I want to highlight. 2019, The Joker by DC Comics, starring Joaquin Phoenix and Robert De Niro. Notice Joaquin's last name, Phoenix. This entire movie was about chaos creating the chaos so then the order can come in to reestablish itself on the world stage 
And it was the Joker who caused the chaos. And the name Phoenix, the Phoenix rises. But the dead giveaway was the number on the cop car. There it is. The 75th precinct. And there was all they needed to see when I saw this tied to Renium. And you know, the Skull and Bones is known as the Brotherhood of Death. I mean, the, the, the logo's a dead giveaway. Now, obviously it has probably a, a lot of different meanings. But I'm gonna show you what the research says with the numbers and mathematics and symbols and alchemy and the tarot and the cards of illumination. Just wait till I see show you what's going on here. But let's start with this movie, 75th. So this shot right here is when Joaquin Phoenix is in the cop car in the back. He's being brought to prison. He just shot Robert De Niro on stage on a show and now the entire city starting to go into complete chaos and here he is in the car looking out watching all the chaos starting to transpire and then he starts to laugh he starts to laugh because he finally realizes that he did his job he's finally getting his recognition he did his job ladies and gentlemen that's what this whole story was about the joker and then you know the cars are burning People are looting. Buildings are being broken into. I mean, it's just a pandemonium going on. And then he finally gets hit by somebody. The cop car gets hit and you probably know the rest of the story, but here's kind of a shot of, you know, people looting and going crazy. This is chaos. This is what, I mean, the brotherhood of death. I mean, if you think about, it, I'm not saying that this organization was responsible for anything on the world stage. I'm not going to insinuate that at all. I'm just going to show you what it represents because, I mean, that's what they're, the, the brotherhood of death. I mean, can mean many, many things, right? But let's keep going with this. And the cop car, the 75th precinct, dead giveaway, tied to rhenium. So here it is. And here's another alternative uh, isotope of rhenium. Rhenium has an average of 186, but here's its other isotope, 184. One, it's actually isotope 185. And this is all I needed right here to tie it to the mighty star Sirius and Lucifer, the light bringer. And Saturn's in there somehow, some, some way. But you see, all I had to do is use mathematics. So I'm like, okay, well, the 322, let's bring it into some mathematics and tie this into alchemy, which is gonna go back to what is 322. And bam, there it was, bringing in the golden ratio. Why the golden ratio? Because the golden ratio starts things off. It's light coming down to become physical matter into pi. So if you take any digit and you put it into the string of the golden ratio, it starts to tell you its own narration. This is part of the source code. So the 322, there it is. This is where it appears in the string of the golden ratio. It occupies digit, counting the one point, it occupies digit 182, 183, 184. And the 184, is the total digits and there there it was the connecting point it's the weight of rhenium isotope 185 and just to be very like ironclad with this when i go to the periodic table and i look at rhenium right here and i come down to this right here oxidation states and isotopes and the the big clue now all i needed to see was here it is right here the 184 tied to where the 322 is in the golden ratio there was the clue 37 percent and it just go right to numerology and i knew there's the mighty star sirius eye in the sky which is also tied to this word right here shepherd I'm watching over the sheep it's the 37 and i knew i knew i had the what i've been looking i've been waiting for this i finally found it but there it was these are all clues you got to know what you're looking for but there it was this is isotope 185 and that's all i needed and i and i knew it to be this is the connecting point i knew it and i now i know it's tied to sirius and saturn's going to be in there as well but it's the golden ratio which is part of nature you see 322 if you divide that by two simple math you're going to get the golden ratio 161 so obviously that's a dead giveaway that it's the golden ratio multiplied twice and you can look at the 161 in there i didn't want to go gangbuster crazy this one was enough this one was enough but wait there's more 
So the total is 850. So I went back and I was reviewing some of my old decodes. This one just came out within May. If you haven't seen Bloodline Decoded, I mean, one of my best decodes. Check it out. But I knew I had the slide in there and I went back. Bam, there it was, man. The, spe the Greek spelling for Sirius was 85. And I just, and I knew, I knew it. And, and so now I, I, I can see and Sirius, if you study it, it was known to cause chaos as it returned through the binary system it was in with our sun. It, that's, that's, those are the stories if you read about it. Brightest star in the night sky. I mean, there's so much significance to this thing. And this, this is undeniable in the source code here. Okay, this is undeniable and this is undeniable right here. And this element means unstable. Obviously, another cool, another link to Sirius and what the whole thing's about. And then, of course, through the Truman Show, an, another dead giveaway. Well, this is what falls from the sky. Sirius, written right on the container, the light that falls from the sky, right there. We're living in the Truman Show. You are Truman. That's the Christ, having the Christ, the Jesus Christ superstar experience. Sirius, it seems now that Sirius is kind of the one that's manipulating this entire reality or at least has a big hand in it. And then we go, here's another slide off my bloodline. The Greek spelling for Sophia. Sophia is a 16, which is tied to sulfur, which is tied to the tower card. This is, this is tied to Sirius and Sophia. And I mean, the Egyptian word for... Sophia is soap debt, and that was 31, and there it was. It's right on the atomic mass of sulfur. It's just tied to Lucifer. Lucy, Lucifer, the light bringer. Folks, it's just about to get hot and heavy, so you better uh, hold on. Because <laughs> this is just the intro, man. That was just the intro. What is 322? Renium, Lucifer. It's in the movie. You see it there. Tied to the 322, tied to the, 80, the 85, and tied to the 184 in Renium. Speed of light. That was the intro. Let's get into the topics of conversation for this presentation. Number one, the founders, the founders of Skull and Bones. I'm going to show you how these guys are be were being used. Number two, Deer Island. Oh, I messed up on my numbers here. Number three should be, it'll be number four, 96. And number five, Swords. As fate would have, it's just how it wanted me to put there. One, two, four, and five. I bet there's some significance to this pattern right here. I'm going to look it up after I'm done, but nonetheless, there we go. And then I'm going to ask you what you saw at the very end. Let's break down the founders, the very first topic, the, je the two gentlemen that established this secret society at Yale University in 1852 or something like that, 1832, uh, I think it is. It's William Russell and Alfonso Taft. Here are the names and their numerology. <laughs> and so let, let's have some, let the fun begin. <laughs> I'm going to laugh a lot during this one because it's just so blatant and ridiculous. So here are the two gentlemen that created it, co-founded the Skull and Bones, the Order of the Skull and Bones, the Brotherhood of Death, 145. And we go right to alchemy to fact check it. Bam, there it is, Prometheum. <laughs> and as I have shown, I showed it in my scripted reality part three. And this is my final answer. Prometheus is Lucifer. Lucifer is Prometheus. All right. And Prometheus, of course, is right there. The element Prometheum. These guys' names in numerology that co-founded and founded Skull and Bones tied to Prometheum. Tied to Lucifer. <laughs> I got so much more to show you, ladies and gentlemen. Let's break down their birthdays, their birth cards. Let me show you how scripted these guys' reality was. So William Huntington Russell and Alfonso Taft. Here are their birthdays. 12th of August, November 5th. Here are their birth cards. <laughs> He's got the ace of diamonds. They both have diamonds. Lucy in the sky with diamonds. Hello, dead giveaway. He's got the 27th card in the deck. He's got the 34th card in the deck. And uh, when you add those two up, 27 and 34, <laughs> you, you get the number 61. <laughs> you get Prometheum again. <laughs> These guys didn't have a choice but to create this secret society, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> 
Uh, there it is, Promethean. But wait, there's more. <laughs> I got so much more to show you. So I decided to, you know, I look at everything I can, every possible angle. Um, and, you know, he was born on August 11th, otherwise known as 1211. He's uh, November 5th, 11 5. This is the way they wrote it now. I didn't, I, I know this is different. This is, starts with the date on, if you go look up uh, William Russell, his date in Wikipedia is written 12 August and Alfonso's is written November 5th. They're flipped. So I wrote them out exactly the way it was on the Wikipedia, right? Now, again, is, you got to ask the question, is someone trying to screw you over and mock you? Well, <laughs> I, I don't know how you'd even come up to that conclusion. Whoops. But when you take uh, 1211, and you add 11.5 right there, you get 13.26. It's going to be tied to iron. But if you add 13 and 26 together, you're going to get 39. And just like that, now we have another connection to this element called yttrium. And there's the Y. And of course, where is skull and bones? That's right, at Yale University. Okay, now I know you're like, well, why are you doing that? Well, folks, I mean, this is undeniable here. Come on, this is, it was at Yale. I mean, it's right there. You can't miss it. These two guys, right? So let, let's keep going. And then, you know, Yale is a 10. <laughs> and then we bring astrology into this to get another layer. Astrology, the 10th sign is Capricorn. And now we have Saturn. Now we have a link to Saturn. Say 10. We have Capricorn. We have the Yod in there. Yod starts with the letter Y. Yod's linked to Capricorn. Yod's linked to Saturn. Father time, Kronos. Okay, these are all playing their part. It's like we live in this big machine and there are all the, it's like an anthropomorphic being and there's a whole bunch of moving parts to it. It's not just one thing, many moving parts to it, but nonetheless, we now bring in Lucifer into this. <laughs> Lucifer is Prometheus. Lucifer is the light bringer, okay? Among so many other things, but Lucifer in the original spelling in Isaiah 14 verses 12 of the Holy Bible in the Old Testament, there's the 39. And there's the 39. I mean, I've shown this so many times, okay? I've shown this so many times. The Y, the y is the 25th letter. The word adversary equals 25. It's pretty much a dead giveaway here, okay? And then if you know what the 39 is, it's tied to that 75, 93, 39. History repeats itself. Lucifer, the light bringer, has everything to do with history repeating itself. That's why it does. Okay, we live in a fixed, predestined, scripted reality, ladies and gentlemen. That's what happens. That's what's going on. Can we break that? I have no idea. Well, let's keep going here. So let's look at Capricorn. Capricorn is ruled by Saturn. Those of you that are Capricorns, you're ruled by Saturn. Your planet is Saturn, Father Time. Why is it there the Tropic of Cancer and Tropic of Capricorn? Who picked those? Why not another different set of zodiac signs? Let's go start to study this stuff. See, water freezes at 32 degrees. This is a dead giveaway. In Fahrenheit, water freezes at 32 degrees. Capricorn equals 32. This is telling you this is light slowing down and turning into physical matter. Because, I mean, here is the element sulfur, 16th element. And its average weight is 32. I mean, you can't, you can't miss this now. The word light is 16. It's got 32 for its weight. And the word Capricorn is 32. 32 degrees is... What well, water turns into a solid from a liquid. 32 represents duality. It's light slowing down into physical matter, folks. So Saturn is in here, a player in this whole entire thing. And then if you add, you should be doing this as well, adding your protons to your atomic masses. 16 plus 32 is going to give you the number 48. And there's the mirror <laughs> of the 322. And just like that, through the primes... Once again, easy peasy to see this stuff. Once you have all the tools, this is kind of a dead giveaway right here. And I got more to show you on the primes, but this is absolutely uh, uh, ridiculous, if you ask me. I mean, I don't. What, what else are we to do with this stuff? When you can start to see, this is the source code, man. Man didn't create this. It's too complex. It's too complex. You want to talk about man being used? I'll let you be the decision maker on what I'm saying here. If you think your life's your own, awesome. But these two guys were being used. And here's just a dead giveaway and absolute certainty to support that man's being used. How about the distance between their birth cities? I've shown this many times through different people. How about, you know, if you check out my the latest Matrix 4, the White Rabbit Resurrections, I showed Keanu Charles Reeves and Carrie Moss 
their birth cities and how ridiculously scripted their lives are. They were born to be those actors and actresses. These two guys are actors on the world stage. You're an actor or actress. I'm an actor. We're just theater down here. But here's, here's the, the straight line. The crow flies from Middleton to Townsend, Vermont, where Alfonso Taff was from. <laughs> and here's the distance. Right from the computer, man. Punched it right in. 103.92 miles. I automatically knew what that meant because obviously the 103 is the 27th prime number. <laughs> and uh, the, 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 the 27, you go to the, uh, the cards of the medicine deck and bam, there it is. The great dragon got hurled down. <laughs> what is the dragon? Well, it's the electromagnetic wave tied to light and atoms. <laughs> That's what these are. These are clues. These cards came out in 1988 tied to yttrium and Yale and the Y. These people aren't trying. These are people aren't trying to screw you over that created these card decks. Come on. But we can synchronize them because they're, they were being used to create the deck. And this is the source code kind of synchronizing everything being organized. <laughs> the great dragon got hurled down light told tied to skull and bones. And these are the two gentlemen who who created it, founded and co-founder. It's pretty crazy. And then this is obviously a dead giveaway. And why Chaldean is so important, why it's so special. You type out the words Chaldean, it equals 27. And then if you just write all 26 letters of the English alphabet, you're going to get 103. And there it is. 103 is the 27th prime number. And then you just go right back up and look at the distance between their two cities. I mean, come on, ladies and gentlemen, where do we draw the line? Where do you draw the line and say, well, you know, that's not organic. Like, okay, that's the, I mean, do you think these two guys actually sat down and mapped out where they were going to be born? I mean, they didn't pick where they, their birth cities were. And then, I mean, to think that somebody would actually go and fake a city of somebody's birth and try to figure this out, the crows fly. I mean, come on, man. Back in the day when these guys, the 1800s, they didn't have this technology to map this stuff out as a crow flies like that. No way. No way possible. But be, this is the source code using mankind. This is why we're decoding it. <laughs> I just think it's so funny. I don't, I mean, I just, I get a, I get a good time with it. And then if you add the 103 and the 92 together, <laughs> you get 195. You put that in the string of pi, which measures earth. And look at where it's, where, where, where it appears. I mean, come on. There's the numbers of Lucifer, 417. Manly P. Hall, the numbers of Lucifer, Lucifer 741. That's a permutation of it. This is a dead giveaway. Come on. I mean, go watch my Manly P. Hall decoded. That guy was being used. To, nothing against him. Where do you think he got all his information from? Where do you think I'm getting all my information from? Where do you think you're getting all your information from? Is it the pie in the sky? <laughs> I mean, this is a dead giveaway with these two guys. I mean, and then uh, let's just get, I have a little bit more with this just to show you how ridiculously scripted these guys' lives were. So I, we did the crow fly, but let, how about where the, uh, the main route that runs through these two guys' birth cities? I don't even know if it, it probably wasn't, probably wasn't even there when they were alive. I know it wasn't. 1800s. I don't know. I didn't even look up Route 91. I bet if you go decode Route 91 and figure out how long it is, the length of it in miles and kilometers, and you go look at when it was built and established, you'll see all the source code playing out. Whatever created this reality, this is its reality, and it runs the entire gamma, mankind included. But it's Route 91. 91's tied to protactinium and the battery. But look at the look how many uh, look at the time of how long it takes to get to Townsend, to Middleton, where these two founders were from, these two dudes, their two birth cities. Two hours and two minutes. So I decided to do the conversion of that. <laughs> and it's, it's, it's 122 minutes. There it is. And the 122, if you, if you know, if you've been paying attention, bam. <laughs> it's tied to the all-seeing eye of Ant, the eye of Horus which is inside your brain, the implant in your brain. You get into Westworld and, I mean, Antimony's 28, Lucifer's 28. I mean, come on, folks. You know, the 122 is just a step down, 322, 222, 122. You got to know these numbers and start looking at it from layers and levels and dimensions. All of this has significance. And uh, and then, you know, the, nine, the Route 91 to get to their, their cities. <laughs> If you spell out Thomas John Ellis, 
Hooper. Now, Hooper, this is a way you should be decoding yourself. You take your full birth name on your certificate and you then you add your mother's maiden name or what's called her knee. Because see, your mom and dad came together and your mom had a different father. So it's two fathers coming together to create two children and then no two children come together. But we tip in, in the Americas, we typically get rid of the mother's maiden name. But when you look them up, it's a dead giveaway. More layers. And this, this is going to be coming out in my course. Here's a little uh, uh, a head start. But you should be decoding your name along with your mother's maiden name to get an extension onto your birth certificate name. And I mean, come on, ladies and gentlemen, you see how scripted this reality is? This guy right here didn't have a choice but to be raised as an actor, to play and get casted for the Lucifer before he ever came out of the womb. <laughs> Route 91, there, there's, there's his full birth name. And uh, last but not least on this topic of the founders of Skull and Bones, here are the two cities, the numerology of it. <laughs> and we just go right back into alchemy and uh, we get this element called Francium. And <laughs> what do you see there? <laughs> it's the mirror of the 322. <laughs> oh my God, I'm having so much fun with this one because it's just ridiculous. It's re freaking ridiculous and if you think these people are trying to mock you and screw you over you're on the wrong planet all right you, you got to start using some logical thinking <laughs> but there it is and then who who founded this element well how about this lady right here <laughs> we're gonna bring somebody in maybe she's from skull and bones too she was born in 19 maybe she was working with the brotherhood of death no, she was a damn scientist from France. <laughs> Margaret Perre. She worked under Marie Curie, who discovered radium. I got that coming out. Those two, her and her husband were being used to discover radium, which is Ra's element. <laughs> she discovered Francium. And, you know, if you look at her birthday and her death day, 19 and 13, if you just go right here to numerology. 19 and 13 it's the game master 19 and 13 and there's that 32 tied to capricorn remember tied to those two founders <laughs> but there it was but how about her birthday the 19th of october which card is that well it's the 16th card in the deck october 19th is the three clubs. Let's be really transparent. Here's the cards of illumination, the birthday chart. You should have this by now. You should get the graphic from me. If you don't have it, just send me an email, decodeyourreality at gmail. But here's October. And then you go down to the 19, and here it is, the three clubs. Okay, so that's what we're dealing with. The lady who discovered Francium's got the mirror of the 322. She's got the 16th card in the deck. I guess who else has that as their, has, as their birth card? <laughs> Tom, Thomas John Ellis, <laughs> who played Lucifer. <laughs> oh, God, man. I'm getting hot We're laughing because it's just so funny. <laughs> oh, my God. So, ladies and gentlemen, I want, to, I want you to digress here, and I want you to ask yourself a question, okay? At what point do you distinguish that this is no longer the organic code? Like, is this now like man's trying to screw people over and mock them? Right? Try, try to pull the woolly over your eyes. <laughs> the lady who discovers Francium, which is the mirror of the 322, which is inside the logo of Skull and Bones, she's got the same birth card as Thomas John Ellis, November 17th. Let's just be really transparent. November 17th, there it is. November, come down to the 17th, there it is. It's the three clubs. Okay, so Thomas John Ellis has got the 16th card in the deck. He played Lucifer, got casted. His name is Thomas. Jesus, his twin brother's name is Thomas. John the Baptist is what baptized Jesus. It's just ridiculous, this code. It's all a big story, allegorical. It's just a big joke. The Joker, the movie, the Joker. It's a joke. And he has the 16th card in the deck tied to light. The word Adam equals 16. Adams are tied to light. <laughs> and this, this, is a, well, I'm gonna, this, is, this is big right here. I'm going to show you what else this is tied to. This is a dead giveaway, so are we haven't fun yet. <laughs> Folks, wait till he show you with this. Show you how ridiculously scripted this place is. Deer Island, the next topic of conversation. <laughs> so the 
Skull and Bone Society, they own uh, a, a place on, on Deer Island, and it's on the St. Lawrence River. And, you know, I mean, there are, you could decode this. I could have went crazy. 40 acres tied to zirconium, tied to Westworld, tied to death and regeneration through zirconium and gold colored and all the stuff I've been saying. Okay. But it's Deer Island. And so I decided to look at, this is absolutely going to blow your mind. So I decided to pull up the maps and of course, look at the coordinates, the latitude, longitude, of this place, Deer Island, and I decided to look at the start of where this river begins. This is the beginning point, which is right here, the Gulf of St. Lawrence, up in Canada. Okay, up in Canada is where it starts, the mouth of the river, and then it flows. If you just follow my cursor, it just flows down and it comes down to the state of New York, and then right about here is where Deer Island is. So here are the coordinates of the starting point for the Gulf of this river, the Gulf of St. Lawrence, St. Lawrence or the beginning of it, like the root chakra of this river. Okay. And then you go into Deer Island and here, here's the latitude longitude of Deer Island. There's the location of it right there. So here's the mouth of the river where it begins and the coordinates 49 degrees North, 64 degrees West. And there are here is the coordinates of Deer Island, where the skull and bones have a, a, a place. It's 44 degrees north and 75 degrees west. Notice the number 75. <laughs> and there's the latitude longitude right here. So I, what I want to do is add them all up. <laughs> so the beginning, the root of this river flowing all the way down to where Deer Island is and adding up the 44 here it is through the calculator, the trusty calculator. 44 and 75 is the latitude longitude of Deer Island. And then 49 and 64 is the, the mouth of the river of where it comes from. <laughs> and lo and behold, ladies and gentlemen, and just like that, <laughs> we get another permutation of the 322. Folks, what, what are we to do with this? I mean, you think that they're actually scripting this to screw you over? And mock you. Do you do? Do they even know this? Maybe I don't know, but I know this to be absolute. This is the whether or not they're aware of it or not. Maybe if one of the members watch this video, they're going to be enamored by it because this is absolute. This three two two keys popping up two two. It's francium and francium is a byproduct of radium and radon, and they're all part of the team. Tied to skull and bones. I mean, come on, folks. The mouth of the river and then where the actual Deer Island is, where they have a location, and you add up all the latitude longitudes and it's the permutation of 322, what do you think the odds would be? Well, when you know how to look at the source code and just tie it all together, X marks the stop spot, the latitude longitude. This is un freaking deniable and it's absolutely funny. And there, I think this is the house, pretty beautiful place. Sweet spot, man, right on that water. Wow, it must be amazing during the summertime and the spring. I don't know if this, I, this is a picture I pulled. This may be it, I don't know if it's not. Well, so be it, maybe it's just, you know, a picture. But anyway, this is what I pulled up. But notice Deer Island <laughs> is a 33. And it's not just a 33, folks. That's, and 33 is not evil, okay? But here's just an example of how it's tied to this. Deer Island, and it's a 16 and a 17. These numbers are running in sequence. So this is important. So what does it mean? I mean, you go and look and the word light. Remember, tied to Lucifer, tied to Francium in the 223. The weight of Francium, right here. The, the, per, the, the mirror of the 322, tied to Thomas John Ellis birth card and the lady who discovered Francium. <laughs> it's tied to light, and deer is 16. And then Island is 17. And these guy, this, this organization at Yale have a place called the tomb. So if you, if you read this now, the interpretation, how I see it, it's light slowing down to become physical matter in the tomb. The tomb is earth, womb to tomb, which ends up coming up to scripted reality in the 47, womb to tomb. Okay, womb to tomb, right there, dead giveaway. And then I wanna bring in some tarot. Let's get some pictures into this. Bring in some more uh, layers of the 
uh, of the occult here, the, the, the great tarot cards to give us the picture. So here's the 16 and the 17 linked to Deer Island. It's the tower card tied to the 16 and it's tied to light. When light starts to come down, it this is a representation, in my opinion, one of them. This is where you have spirit coming down to play out the game called life. And then the tomb, dead giveaway, is the 17th card in the deck, which is the star card. We all become stars. I mean, this is more than likely the star serious behind the head of this individual. The star coming down here to play the game. The to- In the tomb. That's what we all are in, the tomb. And the tomb would be your body as well. But the tomb is earth. And you ain't getting out until you die. And this is where the mighty star Sirius comes in. You see, Sirius is 16. Light is 16. I mean, is it is it a coincidence that they have a place called Deer Island and it's a 16? And it's tied to light and tied to Thomas John Ellis who got cast to play Lucifer and tied to the lady who discovered Francine, which is the mirror of the 322 who has the 16th as their birth card. Come on, ladies and gentlemen. Just ridiculously scripted. Serious. And then, you know what other name? Keep your eye right there. Bam! How about the... Uh, How about the mighty Shiva? You see, that's why, like, if people say, well, no, it's my, it's this religion. This is the way it is. It's my book. It's my God. Didn't this, this." folks, do you realize how ridiculous that is? It's a big Ponzi scheme. It's a big Ponzi scheme. The word Ponzi scheme is a 53. 53 is the 16th prime number. There it is. Shiva is the God of destruction. What do you think this society says they are? I'm not saying that they're destroy, destroying things, but they call themselves the brotherhood of death. Shiva is known as the god of destruction and <laughs> tied to light. So is Sirius, is Sirius, the mighty star Sirius, is it, is it ruling over the brother, is it ruling over the skull and bone society? And, and where's Lucifer fit into this? The light bringer, otherwise known as the devil. Who's ruling the chaos on the world stage? And then, you know, mankind's being used. That's my final answer right now, ladies and gentlemen. Mankind, including this organization, they don't get a hall pass, are being used. They're playing out their part. You just got to have fun with it. You may not like it. I mean, when you go swimming in the water, in the ocean, and there's a shark swimming around, do you get mad and start screaming and yelling at the shark? Try to kill the shark? No, you get the hell out of the way because it's a predator. But you don't go yelling at it and getting mad at it. It's just doing its freaking job. That we live in a chaos and order society. We live in a predator-prey reality. That's how this works, this reality. Like it or not, golden age to dark age, that's how it works. When you're in the dark age... You know, that's, you get a lot more death and regeneration, et cetera, et cetera. But the Kali Yuga stage. What about the cards of illumination found from Deer Island? Well, these cards came before the tarot, but let's, let's, let's see what they got to say. So again, here's Thomas John Ellis's card right there, his birth card. And then of course, the lady who discovered Francium, the mirror of the 322. <laughs> She's got the same birth card tied to light. So it's light slowed down into physical matter, which is the tomb. And here's the tomb card, the four of clubs. This, is, this means structure. And then when you bring the tarot to get the picture, to get the extension on that, <clears throat> here they are right there. It's the three of wands and the four of wands running simultaneously. So this card right here, if you know how to read the tarot, this is about launching your long-term plans. Number, the, the card before that is figuring out what it is you want to do. Well, now you're already here and now you're on earth You've come down from the spiritual realm and you decided to play the game. Now you're like, okay, I'm gonna, now I'm gonna start launching my plans. It's light slowing down itself into physical matter. The word adversary is 25. This, now you developed an ego. This is your ego now in your brain. And then the tomb is, this is, hap, this is happy home, folks, right here. This four of wands. This is, this is you creating your castle. Light coming down to create a castle. To create a family, procreate. That's what this whole reality is all about. Humping, creating babies, and the, the game needs players. But this 26 is a big deal because it's tied to the yod heh There it is. The original spelling of the yod heh the God of the Bible, is 26. 
How about that? The house always wins. The word house equals 26. So it's light slowing down. So is it the yod heh and the Bible coming down here to play out its own game? And who is the yod heh vah You've got to make that determination. I mean, Adam and Eve is 26. We have iron in our blood. That's the, the element iron. It's just ridiculous. It's so easy to see this stuff, how this is all source code scripted right here. And then it comes to, to the element antimony. Once again, coming to this, I showed it in the, the two founders <laughs> and their, their birth cities, the ridiculous code they were scripted under. But the reason why I'm showing this again is because if we take 25 and 26, it's pretty simple math. And you get 51. You go right back to this element antimony. You get the all-seeing. If you slice your brain open, you're going to see this. It's the eye of Horus. Horus is tied to Jesus. Jesus is tied to Lucifer. And that's tied to us as human beings. And, I mean, it's... Again, again, 322, 222, 122. This is two fractals down from the 322. You just got to know. You got to start looking at things in dimensions and fractals. But I mean, it's a dead giveaway. Light slowing down into physical matter, and now you become under the guise of antimony. Antimony's 28. Lucifer's 28. And, you know, if you go by the Latinized spelling of it to get a uh, variation, it's called stibium. Stibium is 21, just like Saturn. So Saturn's in here somewhere, and you get Satan, Saturn, et cetera, et cetera. Father time. Satan is time. Over time. Death and regeneration. Things don't last. Perfection doesn't last. It ends up decaying over time. And then chaos kicks in to clean it up, to start the game back over again. See, all these, all these uh, constructs and archetypes have a job to do down here. You know? And, I mean, this is pretty much a dead giveaway right here. Even the word Zeus is 21. So it's father, son there. Zeus has a big say in it. So I decided to, you know, this is, this is a big deal. To end this part of it, Deer Island, 16, 17, it's the light coming down into the tomb. So it ends at the tomb, 17. The word life equals 17. The word matrix equals 17. The word gold equals 17. This is a big deal number right here. 17 is the seventh prime number. We have seven chakras. So if you go 17 digits into the string of pi, which is what we're all playing out, look at what it equals. From light into the tomb. Light coming down into the tomb, which is earth. Earth equals 17. What's running earth? Well, this is a big clue here. Lead. Then lead is tied to Saturn. That's an over. If you study your alchemy, lead is where radium or uranium, if you study the alchemical um, decay rates, meaning that an element, if you leave it out, it starts to break down and decay. Well, uranium, 92nd element, will decay down all the way down to lead. And somewhere in between there, you're going to get protactinium, 91. You're going to get thorium. You're going to get actinium. And you're going to get radium, Ra, 88. And then 87, Francium, the mirror of the 322. And then 86, radon, tied to Lucifer, the son of the morning. It's all there. You just And then 82 is where it ends up. 82 is prison planet. If you've been following along, 82 is tied to 52, prison planet. 17 is tied to the star card. Light slowed down into the star card. This is where their, their, their house is on Deer Island, what it's tied to numerology-wise and through alchemy and stuff like that. And I mean, here are the here is the 16th and 17th digit in the string of pi. It equals 82, but here it is, that 32, that's Capricorn again. Capricorn equals 32. I mean, think about this, ladies and gentlemen. What are the odds that the, the 17 digits in the string of pi, which end up linking to the word tomb and earth and life and matrix, all 17, they add up to 82, which is lead, which is notoriously known to be ruled by Saturn. And the last two digits making up digits, 16 and 17 is 32. And Capricorn, which is ruled by Saturn is 32. What are the odds well, this is mathematically precise right here. To be perfect, man didn't code this. And then, you know, this is another did giveaway, sulfur being 32. 32 degrees is when water freezes into a liquid, telling you it goes from a light source to a physical avatar and to carbon-based. And this guy right here has that 16th card in the deck. Right there, this is Lucifer, right there. He's got the 16th card, this is the 16th card in the deck. And this is his element right there. 
sulfur. Starts with the letter S, as in sin, sine wave, cosine, sun, sol. It's, it's all there. This is the dragon wave. Electromagnetism. It's all there. Physics. It's all in there. It's all together. It's all perfect. Man didn't code this. Sulfur and Lucifer 28, pretty much a dead giveaway. And then if I bring it into the string of the golden ratio, going back to nature's pattern again, we go 17 digits in and the total, this time for this one, 96. And just keep your eyes over here. Bam! There's the original spelling where Saturn came from beyond the Romans. It's Kronos, 96. That's the yin yang, folks. And then the two digits that make up 16 and 17 are 48. And 48 fits in right there. Lucifer being the permutation of the, or a mirror of the 322. 223 is the 48th prime number. Folks, come on, light down into the tomb. So now you can start to see the connections from this secret society to astrology, to the modern times, Netflix show, to numbers, math, the principles of equations, prime numbers, the science of numbers. It's all synchronized together. And this is the source code. Man didn't code this, ladies and gentlemen. No way, no how. It's not possible. Too many things. Yeah, you can become consciously aware of it. These, this organization, I'm sure they know some of this stuff. But not at not what I'm showing you here, folks. Come on. We got to start using some logic and common sense. So let's get into that 96 because I want to look at this right here. Well, let's break this down. 96, Kronos. Okay, so let's break that down. Let's start with Kronos, 96, where the original spelling came from. So what I like to do with this is, you see, the Greek letters, this is from the, uh, the, the old antiquity. They're going to be, the modern's going to be a little bit different. They have two different alphabets of Greek. You have the uh, old Greek and the new Greek. This is the old Greek. And what I like to do is take these letters and then compare them to the English language. So here it is. And obviously it doesn't spell out Kronos, but I matched up the 11, the 19, the 16, the 14, 16, and 20 with the letters on the English alphabet. And so with this methodology, I can then get another, another picture going into Chaldean and do the same thing. And I'm just interested in the number outcome. You could do this with septenary. You can do this with all the other ones as well. But again, Chaldean, it's the oldest known numerology cipher. So I feel it has seniority. And there's the 30, folks. And what is the 30? If you know what you're looking for, right there. The new age name of the Yodei Vahe of the Holy Bible. And then the Gnostics, what they call the ruler of this world, the Demiurge. So you got to start making the decision. What do you think's run this world? And it can't just be one thing. It has to be like, a, it's like a machine. It's like an anthropomorphic machine. I say, but I say it's all a big Ponzi scheme. You know, one boss rules it all and he's got all these workers for him. But the, this is kind of a dead giveaway. I mean, this is not just trying to fit a square peg in a round hole. I've shown this over and over. Role play, mind control. They're all tied to this 30. Okay, they're all tied to the sturdy, and then, you know, it comes with this scripture right here. I just broke this down and my hurricane decoded. That's what that's what's running the hurricane. People say, oh, it was man-made. Man's being used. You can do all the geoengineering that you want, but your, those people's minds are being used. They're being manipulated. They may carry out the actions, but not the ideas. This is something outside of a supernatural is running this reality, using man as an experiment. That's what we are. We're an experiment. As we go through these ages of astrology, we're now moving into the age of Aquarius. Transhumanism is what the next thing on the world stage is for the age of Aquarius. Go start studying Sophia the Robot and Hanson Robotics. Start knowing your astrology. You may not, have, you may not like it. Maybe there'll be a fork in the road. You don't have to make that decision. I don't know. The age of Pisces, uh, that, that's, that was all about religion and, and trying to keep you under the guise of the Bible and, and God and Lord and all this stuff to pray and, and celebrate holidays and do all that crazy stuff. 
It's different now. Maybe we have a new boss coming into town. But this right here, I mean, I'm a dead giveaway with all this stuff. Yin Yang 17, Yode Vahe 17, Demiurge 82. Go right back up to here. I mean, the 82's right here with lead. The light slowed down into physical matter. It's, it's whatever created this reality comes down here and plays out its own game. Plays out its own game, folks. I mean, look at all these connections. Undeniable. How about this one? To end this part of the presentation. Yin Yang is 322 in the primes. And just like that, we have the connection of Lucifer. There it is. Lucifer being the permutation or the mirror of the 322 again. Showed this already with the frame with the Francium. This is this is undeniable. I mean, come on, ladies and gentlemen. Another connection to skull and bones. Skull and bones. Okay? This, we, this is the tomb. We live inside the tomb. That's earth. That's earth. We live inside yin yang. Yin yang is right there in Cronus' numerology. 96 is the numbers of the yin yang. Jack and Jill. Right there. You can't, you can't miss it. And then, I mean, here's, <laughs> to finish this up, Thomas John Ellis, his birthday. Look at what his birthday is. November 17th. On the leap year, 322nd day of the year. I mean, come on. I mean, if you thought that was crazy, ladies and gentlemen, look at where he was born. Cardiff, Wales. Look at the flag for Cardiff, for God's sakes. <laughs> it's the freaking dragon. The great dragon got hurled down. From the founders and the dragonfly card and the 103 of the distance between their cities tied to the dragonfly and the language we speak and the spells we speak to this actor who got casted to play Lucifer, born on the 322nd day of the year. He was born in Wales. And here's the flag. I mean, come on. And then the latitude, longitude of Cardiff, the city he was born in, 51 degrees north, 3 degrees west. 51 being antimony. There we go again. Antimony's 28. Lucifer's 28. Come on. I mean, this guy was, he incarnated to play Lucifer, et cetera, et cetera, to be an actor. He's an actor. You're an actor. I'm an actor. If you're a female, you're an actress. And life is all theater down here, ladies and gentlemen. It's all a movie. Moving pictures, motion picture. Go start studying the band Rush, living in the limelight, the universal dream. It's all theater down here. This, there can't be any other explanation for what I'm showing you here. This guy had no choice but to act and play as Lucifer and get casted for it. He was destined to do it. It was in his script. It was in his script right there, these connections. And then when you, when you add up the 51 and three, you're going to get 54. And there it is. Bam! Phosphorus. 51 and three is 54 phosphorus. Then you, get, you go into the, the Greek spelling of what they called Lucifer. Phosphorus, tied to the devil card, 15th card. Running Pandora's box, 15 and 30 is 45, 45 is Pandora's box. I mean, it's all here, ladies and gentlemen. And even the, the fish, I mean, you look at this, the one, five, and the three. How many fish did the Christ catch in the apostles? 153, it's the permutation right there. And this guy has got the Thomas, the, 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 the name of the brother of Jesus. And he's got the fish for his coordinates? Come on. And then, you know, the Jesuits, Society of Jesus, and many other organizations. Catholicism, and they have this IHS over the cross. There's the fish right there. There it is. Fish is 17. Matrix is 17. Life is 17. Tomb is 17. Earth is 17. All in Chaldean, folks. <laughs> it's a joke. This, is, this reality is an absolute freaking scripted joke you got to know what your script is man you got to you got to figure out and discover who you are all right let's get into the last topic ladies and gentlemen i hope you're having fun this one was a lot of fun just just this one was <laughs> oh man all right let's get into swords the last topic now swords and i'm going to start off with the organization and their name what they go by through the chaldean 49 of course you know skull is 17 the tomb what do you think your body is? The skeletal structure is your tomb. 99% of the calcium is inside your bones and teeth. Calcium's tied to 20 in duality. And I should go check out my manly P. Hall. His parents were chiropractors and dentists. 
They work with the bones and teeth. I mean, it's just ridiculous where Manly P. Hall got his information from. I know where he got it from. Undeniable. All scripted. All scripted. So it's a 49 right here. 49, and then we go here. See, because 49 is down in a hole. So it's light coming down into earth, down into the tomb to play the game out. And now you're part of the movie. Hey, I want to go play that game called Life. That looks pretty fun. So you get to sign a waiver, maybe. You come down here and become an avatar. Maybe you have to wait your turn. Maybe you got to wait for a baby to be born. You know? And now you got Westworld. See, these are, these are concepts that are maybe science fiction-y, but I think that's exactly the kind of mode of thinking we need to get into. Instead of taking stuff so literal like the Bible and thinking like, come on. But anyway, down in the hole, 49, 27 is a 49, and let there be light. This is the word light. This is where this the whole thing came from. The beginning of creation, Genesis. Genesis is 25, tied to the letter, the letter Y, which is where Yale has their logo insignia. It's just, let there be light. This is light in Hebrew. This is where this came from. So it's light, light coming down to play the game slowing down to become physical matter into a human being 49 down in a hole and it's tied to the organization right here we become we have skull and bones at that point that's what we, we get we get a bag of bones so we come down and incarnate we can't leave out the christ because you're you're the jesus christ superstar so where do we the, all these pictures i have right here i'm going to go somewhere with that so just kind of follow along with me if we take this indium right here going inward Indium is 21, by the way, tied to the world card, going into the world, down in a hole. And we mirror the 49 now. And now we get into something very interesting. And we get plutonium. Plutonium being the mirror of the 49 in Indium. And you should be doing this. This is, I, I haven't shown a lot of this because there's just so much content. I mean, I have a hard time having people keep up as it is. But we mirror these numbers. You know, I learned this technique from uh, a decoder, a, fr a, a friend of mine, former friend of mine, John Petrie. Give him credit because he, he was the one who kind of showed me this stuff many, many years ago. So you mirror the numbers. So I, 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 the mirror has a lot to do with everything. So this 49, you mirror, it turns into the 94. Now you get into plutonium. Now plutonium, if you go study this element, you know, this is where you're going to get Pluto from. The word Pluto is 28. Lucifer is 28. Okay? Pluto is known as the god of the underworld, Hades, in Greek mythology. And it's the 94, plutonium. And it's, you know, a byproduct. So you go start studying this stuff, 244. But if you take the 94 and the 49 and you add them up, you're going to get 143, which is, you know, not only a permutation of pi, but it's going to be tied to this element right here called Neo Diamond. That's why I got a picture of the Christ. Because, you know, Neo Diamond, Neo, the one. Neo Diamium. It's very magnet. Used to make magnets. We live in an electromagnetic universe. And then, you know, bringing it into the tarot. Wait, wait till you see this connection. It's ridiculous. So here's the 60th card in the tarot the Ten of Swords. Now, this topic is called swords. Okay? The brotherhood of death. Think about what I'm showing you here. And so this tarot card, the 60th card, came from the ten of spades, which is right there. And there's the connection. This is the 49th card in the deck. And we go right back to the beginning point of where we got the numerology from, from the, the, the organization. It's the Ten of Spades. This card right here is the Neptune, Neptune card too. Tied to the number nine. Tied to the number nine, which is on the IHS, 351. The fish is three plus five plus one is nine. Nine is the last number in Saturn's magic square. So much significance to this. The Ten, say Ten, Ten of Spades. But this is the tarot card that's linked to it. And these guys are known as the Brotherhood of Death. Well, I mean, what do you see right there? What do you see right there? So we just keep going. Well, what about if we say the Ten of Spades? We say that. Numerology, we get the 53. And here's where we get the Christ. 
That's why the, the name Jesus and why people kill for it. Folks, use your common sense. There's much more to the story than you think. Much deeper. Much deeper. 53, because 53, there it is. Bam! It's tied to the one of the original spellings of Jesus. It's Yeshua, 53. Tied to iodine. And, you know, why this is called swords, this topic, is because, you see, in Matthew 10, verses 34, this is Jesus now speaking. Look at what it says. Think not that I come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. And there it is, folks. It's right there. I mean, you you can't miss it now with this. All right? And, And why this organization perhaps is tied to the things I'm showing you, what it may mean, what it may go to, what they may know. And, you know, what, just what is the Jesus character with this, with this statement right here? Well, let, let's kind of break this down. You know, 53 being the 16th prime number, the word light is 16. There it is. These are undeniable, folks. This is like the source code mathematics and, prime, and numerology of science and numbers. And when you combine them all together, I mean, how do you say this is bullshit? Like, oh, that, that's, you're just trying to fit this. Folks, go, I got 300 videos now showing this stuff. This is way more advanced, more more in tune, very acute. But this is undeniable right here. I mean, I I, I come with a sword. I mean, plutonium is all about nuclear weapons. Okay, that's what that's what it's that's what it's. I mean, nuclear weapons, plutonium. You know, start to research these elements and then you know it's allegorical like just like the bible is just like the upanishads are just like the tibetan book of the dead these are all allegorical telling you there's an underlying story that tells you how the reality works but that's why we get the pictures and we we bring alchemy and you know and why this neodymium well you know when you when you break down this scripture here here it is tied to the christ this is from him saying it now I had to modify this because it's going to reduce to the one and the seven. Then you'll get a different number. I like to keep the numbers in their authentic expressions as most most as I can. So this is a 73 right here. Coming with the sword, man. 73 is the 21st prime number. 21 is the world card coming down into the world. And Saturn is 21. Zeus is 21. It's tied to Scandium and the number 44 and 45. So, you know, it's Matthew 10, chapter 10. Capricorn's the 10th sign. Saturn is ruling over Capricorn. I mean, you can see the connections here. And then this element 34 is going to, I mean, this one is going to be tied to the moon and selenium. And you know what's running the tropics? The Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn. So this is right here. This is the Tropic of Cancer and Capricorn right there in this scripture. And then we just now have this 29 and 29 is linked to Satan. It's linked to Satan, folks. I have a decode coming on that. If you do the alchemology of Satan, it is 29, which is linked to Yaldabaoth, the Gnostic Demiurge. Satan means time. Satan means time. And then, you know, why was, I mean, you know, Keanu Charles Reeves, he was playing the Jesus Christ character. He was Neo. His alchemology, 143. Go, go watch my John Wick decoded. Undeniable. This guy's life is scripted and coded. Designed to play Neo, designed to be an actor, everything else, designed to own a motorcycle company, all that stuff's part of his script and code. All of it. This is all undeniable with this sword right here. And then, you know, when you add these up, and you should be doing this with your decodes. You know, with your decoding, you take the number and whatever the prime number is. So we have the 73, and you add it to the 21, and you know what you're going to get. 94. You see? You see why this is so important? This is undeniable. Plutonium. What does plutonium mean? The wiping of the board. Nuclear. Okay? Is is sword really 
Is that what it means? Or does it just mean a wiping of the board? I think it's a wiping of the board, folks. I mean, you got all these underground bunkers being built, underground bases, et cetera, et cetera. What are they preparing for? I'm not, that's not to put any fear into you, folks. There, you shouldn't have any fear, okay? Because whatever's going to happen, you ain't going to change it. Just, just enjoy the ride. Figure out who you are. But these things right here, man, the most popular spellbook on the world stage ain't what you think it is. So many people, I mean, have, have spoken the magical spells and they literally have been part of that book coming to fruition, along with the other ones, the Upanishads and the Tibetan Book of the Dead. These are all, the Holy Bible is from the Tibetan Book of the Dead, so it's all going to be based on ancient Egypt. The word Egypt equals 21, okay, which is tied to radium and Ra, the sun god Ra. It's all linked together, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so there it was, man. I could have did so much more. I mean, this is a very lengthy decode. I don't know how long I'm going now because I always improv these, but what did you see? What did you see? I could have added so much more, ladies and gentlemen. Um, and again, these are just my opinions and truths. You got to make the truth your own, but this is this, this, what I just showed you is the source code ruling over mankind. Mankind can go out there and act out the parts, but they ain't control and control the blueprint. They're just not. And no organization gets a hall pass. No matter how, how high up in the totem pole they think they are, they do not get a hall pass. Their minds are not their own. Just like mine isn't, just like yours isn't. And it's, until something massive changes, well, because I, I could decode anybody's life right now and show you how your life is scripted in the very current moment of the now moment. That's how confident I am in my decoding research. So you just got to figure out who you are, why you're here, what your position is, and have no fear. And not to buy into the, the mainstream. Just create your own movie. Be the star in your own movie. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'd love to hear what you saw. Keep your comments coming. Keep them cordial. I will delete any toxicity. Don't have any room in, for that on this channel. All right? So, as I always say, or often say, my name is Logan. That's all I got for today. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, we will see you later.